All right, hello SpeedSF drivers. Welcome to your Sonoma Raceway logistics video. I'm your host, Joe McGuigan. Uh, let's get right into it. First and foremost, logistics video and do the online quiz. Uh, if you pass that 100%, then you'll be able to, you know, get all your check-in done at once, get your wristband, get everything you need to have, make sure the day gets off to a good start. Um, so when you come in the morning, just make sure you have that, you know, digital waiver with your face, you know, you know, picture of yourself on it, ready to go, as well as, you know, that quiz results. And then the drive through check-in will be quick and easy, and you'll be good to get your day started from there. Um, we will still be doing mandatory cool-down meetings, though, for the first, uh, you know, after the first run group for each session in the morning, just as a quick, you know, touch base to see everyone's doing. Uh, that'll be over by the first set of garages, typically. Just listen to the announcements, though, regarding that. Um, now, once you're all set, ready to go, you've got your car ready, um, as far as getting on the track, the track entrance is going to be the same one we always use, which is between the two sets of garages. There is a ramp that leads down to the hot pit lane. There's going to be a sign, as always, for fast lane, slow lane, up to you to, you know, decide which lane you go in. So make sure, you know, you're taking that entrance down to get onto the hot pit lane, and from there you'll be released onto track. Now, gain on track here, uh, the track entrance puts us between turns one and two. Make sure when you're exiting the pits, just make sure you, you know, making sure no one's coming flying up the hill, be courteous to each other, give each other the space. Now, as always, first session, first couple laps will be under yellow flag. That is your time to get familiar with where the marshals are at. Uh, make sure your car is good, make sure you're awake, you know, make sure there's nothing out on track that seems out of the ordinary. Um, you know, and that way you just get familiar and your day will be good from there. Now, as a reminder, the yellow flag, it, you know, is no passing. It does not mean that you need to go school zone, you know, pace, no 25 miles an hour. It just means exercise caution. Uh, I don't want to see you guys bunching up if you can avoid it. Um, so just don't drive flat out, but, you know, don't drive like you're on a Sunday cruise. Um, just be courteous and, and, you know, make sure that when we do go green, you've got some space built up there. Um, but again, no passing on the yellow flag. Even if somebody gives you a point by under yellow, you cannot take it. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, like I said, once you're on track, wave around, look for the corner workers, get familiar where they're at because they are your lifelines. You're going to see the checkered flag in two spots. You're going to see it at the start finish uh, by the front straightaway. And you're also going to see it at turn seven, the hairpin. If you get it at seven, your session is over. You don't get to come around and see it at start finish again. So be courteous of that. And if you get it at turn seven, just know you've only got a few turns to cool it off. Uh, the track exit is the same and only track exit that we have available, which is just out of it coming through turn 10. It's all the way to the left. Again, whenever we're exiting, hand out the window of the fist. This just says, hey, look at me, I'm doing something different. So it typically applies to when people are exiting the track, but it could also be something you see on track if somebody, you know, sees the yellow flag or somebody's spinning in front of them and they're starting up, hey, look at me, pay attention, I'm doing something different. Uh, again, communication is so important to what we do out here. Um, you know, safety is always top priority. Close second place is fun. If you're not having fun, then we need to find you a different hobby. But I promise you're going to have fun as long as you obey the rules. Now, come back in the track, you know, come back in the, uh, into the main paddock area. The speed limit, again, in the paddock is 5 to 10 miles an hour. Uh, so keep that speed down. Save the speed for out on the track. You don't want to run over your fellow drivers or people visiting Sonoma Raceway because Sonoma has tons of different stuff to op offer. They've got the Wine Country Motorsports Store. They have the cart track. So just, again, keep that speed limit down in the paddock, and I promise we'll have a good day. Um, as a reminder, if you get a black flag, it is not, you know, cue for you to go hide back in the paddock. If you get a black flag, just take the same track exit and keep it to the right, and you'll come back up the hot pit lane, and you'll talk to them, and they'll let you back out. You should know what you've done, but if not, they'll tell you. Um, now, regarding that, you know, there's gas, there's gas on site. We've got food, you know, from the cafe available. Again, Wine Country Motorsports is, is a candy land for car people. Make sure you check them out. And, you know, if you're interested in garage, please shoot us an email. We should have garages available. The garage listing will be sent out, you know, as well once we have that. Um, but other than that, you know... Look forward to, you know, having a great time at Summer Raceway. Again, we're going to have mandatory cool-down meetings after the first session for each group, so please make sure you come to those and listen for the announcements. Other than that, we look forward to seeing you at Sonoma, and we'll see you then soon. Bye.